So, today it's time to tie the Namsen Classic Salmon Flies uh, fly uh, live. However, uh, yeah, let's see how it uh, goes. Yeah, day after New Year, a bit tired, but yeah, hopefully it's gonna work. So I'm gonna tie on a five o hook today. I'm just waiting a bit. So, uh, oval tinsel silver, that's the first thing to tie in. Hello everybody, happy new year. Just tying in the oval tinsel. Make sure to secure it properly. If any questions or whatever, just pop them in the chat window. I will have a look there as well during the time. And then the oval tinsel in place. So I'm just securing that one as well. Bit shaky hands today. Um, it's the day after New Year, so. <clears throat> I woke up like 11 o'clock, <laughs> completely broken. So next step is uh, the yellow floss silk. I'm gonna need gloves when I'm tying that one in. It's not the perfect pattern to tie when you have uh, shaky fingers since it has no support ring in the middle. Um, so let's see how uh, it turns out. It can be a failure, it can be a success. As we say in Sweden, nobody remembers a coward. Yeah. So gloves, so I don't ruin the shine of the silk. Is the sound good and the lights? Tight wraps with the silk. Then we go forward again. Oops.
you may you secure it. No. So I thought, shake your fingers. Oh, Switzerland. Perfect. Thank you very much, mate. Then I know everything is good and the chat is working. Nice to see you, Donovan. So how's the, how was the new year celebration in Switzerland, in your location? Was it good? So I'm just building up a little bit of foundation here before I add the tail. I should cut off the silk as well. Oh my God. It's going to be hard to tie a fly today. My, my fingers is like all over the place. <laughs> but my mistake, just have to man up and do it. There we are. So we're ready for the tail. I prepared it already. I'm going to go with a quite long tail. Oh, no fireworks, yeah. Uh, similar here in Sweden, they, they really try to stop fireworks. Um, yeah, it, it was a bit yesterday, but not that much. Uh, pretty, pretty okay. So I'm going to go with the long tail. So I have a nice shape of the fly. So I'm just waxing the thread. So let's mount that one. There we are. Pretty nice. Good curve. So before I do anything else, I'm just gonna cut this one off. There we are. And then we're gonna have some red. Let's see if I can pair them up with my fingers. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, just a hint, don't try a live video the day of the new year, because you know, playing around with your fe feathers like this, uh, yeah, it's not optimal when uh, you're a bit shaky. So let's see if we can attach that one. So I'm just gonna use this one. I want them to have the same bend. Ah, that wasn't really good. So I will redo that. So. 
Now it's a bit better. Something like that. I'm still not happy about it. It's a, it's a bad, bad feather. It turns the wrong way. So I'm gonna throw it away. And let's see if I can sort this one out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's have a look. That's cool. So it's gonna shorten it a bit. Doing the same with this one. Let's see if I can pair them easier now. There we are. Now it's better. I'm happy with that one. So, just gonna cut the leftovers. And then let me have a look. Oval tinsel. So I got some silver oval tinsel here. So I just remove a bit of the, the silver so I can tie it in properly. So the bags. Just securing the tinsel so it doesn't come off when I'm uh, wrapping it later. So there we are, going backwards again. Now it's time for seal fur, yellow to start with. So I'm gonna have three different, four different colors. So I'm just adding a little bit more yellow. Yeah, 
that should be sufficient. Then uh, I prepared the uh, uh, black cook. So for that, I'm gonna use some wax first. Securing it properly. And I'm gonna tie in the hackles. So it's trying to squeeze them backwards. So red silver. Hey Elias, how are you? Happy New Year. So red. Yep, just had a look at the pattern in the last video I did. I for forgot the, the complete front tackle, you know, come on. <laughs> so, so I need to make sure I don't screw up like that again. So. turns with the bed seal fur. I'm gonna use a bit more. Building up some volume. A bit more. So there we are. Clean the desk here. And then it's time for some blue silver. I might have done the yellow a bit short, but yeah. So I have a bit of volume here, so I can brush it out later. Need to tie a small uh, version of the one as well uh, for fishing. I'd like to try it in Norway next year. 
if they open the border. So I hope this vaccine stuff does change the current state of everything. Some black silver. <clears throat> it's the bad YouTube. Uh, don't let you listen to radio, whatever. We could have some music. Just adding the black. As I mentioned, I did the colors a bit short. So I'm gonna use more black than any other color. That's not really how it's supposed to be, but I didn't mark up the sections before. So. And a little bit more black. There we go. It's time for the front heckle. But before that, I'm just going to brush out the seal fur and clean like a clean desk. Some volume to the, the body. So, tinsel time. Just oval silver tin cell, a few five, six wraps around the, the hook, the body of the fly. Securing that tinsel properly. I 
now it's time for the hackel. Just tight wraps just behind the silver tinsel. Gonna do a few turns in the front just to build up a little bit of volume. And the last wrap, and that's basically it. And it's time for the wing. So there we are. So I'm just going to secure this one. And cut the leftovers. Oh, Elias, uh, let me see the tinsel I'm using for the body is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm using a unit today. So this one is a large, um, not sure uh, compared to Vineyard, uh, which uh, size it is. I will just look at the hook size and choose uh, tinsel size accordingly. There we are. And as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be a bit rough at the fly uh, due to the fact that it was you New Year uh, yesterday. Uh, so, um, yeah, my hands are a bit affected about uh, the consumption of uh, uh, champagne. So, maybe brush a little bit more. There we are. Nice body. So, now the scary moment. Uh, <laughs> shaky, shaky hands, uh, feather wing. Uh, that, that's going to be interesting. This is the wing I built. Yeah, it's going to match it in.
Oh, today, moment of truth. I'm just gonna adjust those. And to be honest with you guys, it's almost perfect. So I'm just gonna secure a few more wraps with the thread to make, make sure it stays where it is. And as you see, just spot on. Uh, I'm gonna hump it a little bit, uh, but uh, first I'm gonna wax the thread. Let's start with that. If you got any questions, uh, let me know. If you have any requests uh, of patterns or whatever, uh, let me know. Just write in the chat box. And uh, a, re a really funny thing, eh? uh, the other day we uh, reached uh, 500 subscribers and i think you know for me tying classic salmon flies and that is you know it's funny like yeah, watch, watching paint dry on the wall <laughs> so i'm i'm quite impressed and I, i'm very very happy about that so uh, just amazing uh, so so yeah you're free to share my videos and hit thumbs up etc and spread it to other people who might uh, like tying uh, a bit more advanced flies and hopefully I'm allowed to get to Norway next year so I can do some more uh, filming there, you know, fishing, those kind of things. And there we are. So that's the fly now. So I'm just gonna adjust a little bit. Uh, for instance, the tail here needs to be set perfect. I'm gonna add varnish. Uh, varnish the head a bit, make sure it dries out before I cut the, the leftover in the front. Uh, not sure if you did see that one. So there we are. The camera doesn't really focus that well. It's a, you know, like a conference uh, camera thing. But hopefully you can see it. And later on, I'm going to upload the video to YouTube. So it's going to be available in the playlist. Then you can look at it on your TV, whatever. And then the size should be sufficient, I think. Oh, as you see, you know, my fingers are all over the place. So it's a, it's a challenge to tie classic salmon flies today. So the, the thing I could improve with this fly is, of course, equal uh, sections of seal fur uh, in the body. But overall, I think it turns out well without the proper planning, etc. So, um, yeah. I'm going to tie a small one, like in size one, uh, maybe size two, um, so I can uh, put them in my fly box. Overall, I think uh, it, it's a nice looking pattern. It would be fun to fish with it. Hi, Peter, how are you? So if I remove the seal for here, I can put the fly a bit closer to the camera. And I just let it stay there for a while. So the fly is basically done. And the only thing I need to do is cut off the leftovers, as I mentioned, and then wax the thread, uh, build up uh, the head as I want it. Uh, I might go with hurl. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. I'm just going to do black head on this one. Um, and then varnish a few times, and, and then it's done. 
Oh, cool, Peter. So I just had this fly in Nams and Live. Uh, uh, missed out the equal sections of the body for the seal, seal fur, but yeah, overall, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna measure better on the next uh, one I tie. Um, I'm gonna upload it in the playlist as well, so you can watch it later. So basically, that's a Namsen, nice classic pattern. Uh, I went with the var var variation of the mustard one. It should be Malla later on this one, but nah, I don't want to ruin the colors of the wing with the uh, mallard. So uh, guys, uh, it's a, I'm, I'm very happy. A lot of people watching. So um, basically, that's it. Uh, I'm done for today. So thanks a lot. Uh, if you don't subscribe already, please make sure to do so. Hit thumbs up and uh, yeah, have a very, very good new year and see you in the next video I'm going to do. Bye.